Happy Monday, y'all. It is five o'clock and I am about to head out the door and meet my coworker at Costco, doing a Costco trip. So super excited about that. And this is my outfit for that. I just threw it on. I was in a little cropped sweater with lounge pants, but we're going cozy. It is 60 degrees. Costco's always cold. Baseball cap. We all know my favorite this year. My temple hoodie, black vest, baggy Levi's belted, and the Sambas. And yeah, I worked from home today. Been super productive, which is so nice. Let's see, I for lunch, I made the best roasted cauliflower. It was so good. I'm gonna write the recipe down below. So easy, so good. What else? I have so many drinks <laughs> on my little desk right here. I hope you had a good weekend. Mine was super fun. What did I do? Friday, just chilled, cleaned the apartment, went to bed relatively early, and then Saturday went up to Hermosa and hung out with one of my good friends and her baby and her husband. Just walked along Hermosa Beach, which was fun. Saturday night, Oh, Saturday night I went to a bar in Long Beach to watch one of my coworker's sister's band play. And it's so funny, such a small world. I know two of the people in her band and I just didn't put any of that together. <laughs> so that was a fun surprise. Um, yeah, it was a good time. Good vibe, good scene, good people, dancing. And then Sunday, oh, it was the Super Bowl, Rihanna's performance fucking love her so much will forever love her she's such a badass such a queen such a fucking vibe mm. <laughs> her performance too i watched it today and it blew my mind even more so so that was fun and yeah i went to a party down in oc and i didn't really know anybody but it was fun and yeah i made those vegan snickers again such a hit everyone loved it i highly recommend if you haven't tried those yet but oh, i almost fell okay i need to go meet her so i will talk to y'all tomorrow i hope you had a great weekend and a great start to your week bye good morning good morning happy tuesday i am headed out the door um i woke up this morning it worked out felt so fucking good you know there's nothing better than after working out feeling those endorphins just feeling so good yeah this is the outfit i feel like i wore this in january sometime super easy go to just want to be warm and comfortable today like every day <laughs> um didn't want to put too much thought into my outfit so went with a turtleneck this thrifted men's sweater vest, rocking the low-rise gray trousers with the Sambas. And that is the Tuesday outfit. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday. I am headed out the door right now. I decided to wear pink because I didn't even realize it was Valentine's Day yesterday morning. <laughs> so I totally would have worn this yesterday, but totally spaced. I went with all black and gray, so I love that for me. But I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. I hope you felt all the love, whether you're in a relationship or single. And yeah, mine was good. A beautiful sunset. Yeah. I smoked a joint, which I normally don't smoke on the weekdays, so that was a little treat. I came home yesterday and there were roses at my door, literally so sweet, such a day maker. Such a nice surprise coming home yesterday, but yeah, that was my Valentine's Day. <laughs> I slept in this morning, so I didn't work out. I'm gonna work out after work. It is Wednesday, I'm gonna keep it casual. Rocking this pink, super cozy, furry sweater, love. 
rocking it with a white tank top underneath got all the jewelry big hoops on today and then i found these jeans in the back of my dresser i haven't worn them in so long i got them at the beginning of 2020 at this little boutique in long beach prison boutique and they're levi yeah super comfortable haven't worn them in a while the white chucks haven't worn these in a while too and that is the wednesday outfit I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday. I am running so late, I overslept. I wanted to get to work early, so I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I really did not have time to think of an outfit, <laughs> so we went with what I love, a turtleneck and an oversized blazer, paired it with a little skirt, and then rocking the cowboy boots i had asked my and that is the thursday outfit all right i will see y'all tomorrow bye happy saturday friends i am headed out the door it is saturday i am going to pilates it is 1 15. i got up at 7 30 and then just cleaned my entire apartment it felt so good. I had a great productive Friday yesterday. What did I wear? I just wore lounge pants and a tank top. <laughs> Very exciting. I'm going to do a little update once I get back from Pilates, but I just wanted to show you the Pilates outfit. I'm going to run some errands right after. So, hello, hello, happy Sunday. I said I was going to be doing these little at the end video talk downs, talk throughs with y'all, but. I've yet to do that since the last time I did this, so hello, welcome, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Workweek Outfits. It is Sunday, happy Sunday, I've been laying on the couch for the last four hours, no not four hours, I went and babysat um, a co-worker's baby for a little bit and then came back. I've been editing a YouTube video and just catching up. I'm doing laundry currently if you hear that in the back and enjoying my Sunday. We have tomorrow off which is exciting and I'm just soaking up this three-day weekend. This morning I had my friend Sadie came up from the OC and we had this really bomb vegan brunch it was so good i was so stuffed so i kind of just relaxed on the couch up until i had to babysit and then came home and have been chilling um just getting things done around the house which is nice and i thought i'd film a little update because i did not film my outfit on friday i just worked from home it was very casual loungewear you know the deal didn't really feel like filming and then yesterday I had Pilates class and then my friend Ben who I used to work with up in Seattle at Nordstrom he actually moved to LA like a year ago so he came down and we had such a good time and then my friend Christine from Bruca she hit me up and was like, hey, I have tickets to Cali Vibes, which is this music festival in Long Beach, literally right down the street from me on the water. So I asked Ben and he was so down. Love that. So we had some drinks and then walked down and it was so much fun. It was such a vibe. We saw Dirty Heads. People are so damn talented. Like, if your talent is to sing and your talent is your voice, like, whew, what a blessing. Um, but anyways, that was a trip. And then we saw Snoop Dogg right after, and that was such a vibe. The fact that I saw Snoop Dogg in Long Beach performing some of the classics like every song I knew <laughs> and you know I was smoking a joint the whole time <laughs> and it was such a vibe it was so much fun I love nights and memories like that when it's so unplanned and yeah it was it was a great time so that was last night so kind of feeling groggy this morning and yeah but it was good it was fun morning I just painted my nails so that's fun. What else happened this week? Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm talking to a friend, which we're friends. We're on this level. But 
this past week, like a few months ago, Board Riders, which is the company that owns Ruka and a bunch of active sport lifestyle brands, they reached out to everybody and was like, hey, vote for someone who's your cheerleader at work, someone who brings positive energy, and someone you would like to nominate. And they let me know that I won, that I was nominated a few times. And I'm still in shock. That was such a highlight. And I feel so damn grateful and happy. And I feel like I say grateful all the time, but I truly mean it. Like there's no better word to describe how I'm feeling when I use the word grateful. And the Scorpio in me loves to overthink things. I think everybody, like it doesn't have to be a Scorpio thing, but like our minds are a wild thing. And I have to remind myself, you don't have to apologize or feel bad for saying you're grateful. I don't know. That's a weird thing of me. But anyways, I'm so grateful. I can't believe it. I actually like get a prize for being nominated to the wellness package. And I won an Apple Watch. Like, what? First off, I don't really win anything. Second an Apple Watch. Like I've always, always, always wanted an Apple Watch. And the fact that I'm getting one from work is so, so cool. And I'm just so grateful. And I love my work. And the fact that other people think I bring positive energy to the workplace. Oh gosh. Let me just think about that (laughs) and journal. Um, So that was so such a nice surprise I heard on Thursday and then they sent out an email on Friday I think people are looking up here as I film this so this is awkward but hi hi (sighs) I still can't believe it that was really exciting and yeah very happy I told my parents right away a proud daughter moment what else can I update y'all on yeah I had brunch this morning it was so good I ran into one of like Ruka advocates, one of our models, Sophie Lin. She's the fucking cutest human being ever. There's so many cutest human beings ever. And she is definitely one of them. She is pregnant and glowing and she looked so good per usual. And when I was getting dressed, I don't have a picture of my outfit to what I wore, but it was this with like a thrifted, long khaki structured maxi skirt and my sambas and when I was wearing it I was like oh like this reminds me of Sophie Lynn and the fact that I saw her right after I love those little coincidences you know like it was meant to be but that's another update and yeah just just living just working just grinding I feel like I've never explained why I wanted to start work week outfit videos and I feel like there's so many reasons and I've been wanting to make YouTube videos for so long probably I don't even know if there's any of you who have watched me when I made videos in high school but I did I think they're all hidden now but um, I've always wanted to make videos and There's so many reasons I'm glad that I landed on work week outfits to be that consistent video for me. But I think one of the reasons is, sorry, it's slowly getting darker, so excuse the light, but it's, I love dressing up. I love looking good. I love feeling good. And I don't think I have the best style. I think there are so many talented, creative fashion people out there and especially nowadays with like social media and that being a job, I feel like it's so saturated and don't get me wrong. Like that is a beautiful thing that there are so many people being a fashion influencer or in the fashion industry in that realm of social media. And I 100% believe that there is room for everybody, everyone to come, everyone now, everyone back then, like there's room for everybody. But I loved this idea of work week outfits, of actually dressing up to go to work. I feel like, yes, there's so many influencers too who like do that, but also go to work. But I want to show people you can dress up 
to go to work rather than dress up for an Instagram photo. And I don't even know if that makes sense. And I mean it in just the most positive way, you know, like do whatever you want when you're dressed up, but I want to make it common and normal to go to work. Like I work in nine to five. I don't do that many exciting things, even though I live a beautiful, beautiful life and very privileged compared to many people. But, you know, I just want to show that it's normal to get up and go to work, to get up and have to go to work, to get up and enjoy your job and to, I don't know, turn a simple, regular, boring life into something exciting for yourself and also for other people to see too that they can do that too but that is my rant for the day I feel like I should stop talking because the sun has gone down but I hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting and just I don't know just being being a friend I hope you are doing well and I will see y'all in the next video.